Best. Right, there we go. While I'm on the boat, and I have to knee down here because <coughs> I haven't got a higher tripod, um, and my microphone, my external microphone, the cable is not long enough, <coughs> I'm just going to talk you to some of the items of kit. I'm going to start with my own body. Um, I've got a um, synthetic slash merino top on the top for Montaigne, which I've been using for a long, long time. Actually, in fact, I've been on this ferry before with the same top. So first choice for the, for the layer down here. Then the coal bips, um, which are fantastic. I've been using them for a couple of weeks now and they are really comfy. They've got a really comfy pad and a pad that you can wear over a couple of days without washing it. So that's quite crucial for a ride like this. And um, I'm just gonna quickly get up. One of my most favorite bits of kit is the Defeat Knee Warmers. They are fantastic. Um, and I've got some, some lovely surly socks as well made of merino. So this is the the core layer, um, as you can see, everything which is on the body except the bips has merino in it. Um, and that is for one reason, that it doesn't smell and it feels really comfy as well to ride. Um, outer layer, um, starting with this one here. Again, there's, a, there's merino on the inside and synthetic on the outside. There's a pair of swivel thermal ties. A super lightweight Vertex Quantum Jelly. Um, this is quite um, just for a little bit of extra wind protection and also for keeping the dirt out of the jersey. And this jersey on the top is a Lacolle top. Um, it's a winter riding top, it's very colorful um, and is also water resistant. So really like this stuff. Um, the other stuff, um, another pair of socks, Defeat Woody Bullies. Um, they are thicker socks, so if it gets colder outside at the moment, it's, it's actually comfortably warm. Um, I'll use those socks. Most important bit of kit on this trip, um, 45 North Jack Hunter boot. Forget about overshoes. Um, this is this is my first choice for winter riding. It's a very comfy high boot. Um, I did about 200 kilometers in them yesterday and it was absolutely no problem. They're waterproof. Um, they don't let anything in and they are also really, really, it's a nice stable boot as well. <coughs> a problem with an overshoe always is that the water will eventually get in on the sides or from the bottom. So this shoe is actually insulated from the bottom with a sole and it's a, it's a fantastic winter riding boot. So I would highly recommend that one. Other bits, which I love, is this one here. It's an icebreaker jacket. This is a Descender zip top. Um, I've, again, I had this for a number of um, weeks now and this is fantastic for riding um, in winter because um, you can use it as a base layer but it also looks good enough to go out somewhere. And just like yesterday evening, sitting in a restaurant, it's always a little bit difficult, but if you only got bike kit. Um, some bits as well, I always carry a pair of um, short, um, short pants, <laughs> whatever you call them, some boxer shorts. And another base layer I really love is this Defeat base layer here. Um, this is the short version um, for the evening, um, or I can use it for riding as well. That again doesn't smell, so this is quite crucial. Um, the other thing, as you can possibly sit, see, and I've, I was filming with a drone recently, so this is my drone bag here. Um, it's a Source Hipster bag, and in there is the drone. Um, in a waterproof bag, thanks to Gunnar for the Candy Bee Traveler pack. Um, it's very good use. And yeah, so I'll wrap that around my waist, get the drone out. Um, and this is this is a huge huge improvement to the video so it's a little bit it's about a kilogram heavy um all all together but this sits really nicely on the waist so um fantastic for riding again i get did about 200 kilometers with it around my waist yesterday so it was fine um some other nice bits um pair of skins recovery pants those really come in handy if you've had a really long day on the bike and those stimulate the legs and they're also nice and warm I have got a slight affection for gloves, so I always carry loads of gloves with me. Um, I've got those Tinelli gloves with me, I also got a um, set of 45 North gloves on the bike and a set of Defeat Merino gloves on the bike, which I haven't got with me because they are in my frame back, but they are amazing, they did a fantastic job yesterday. Again, the Merino gloves, they are really warm, um, they're not really thick, so you've got a nice feeling, especially on the twop bars, um, with having to shift gears now on this trip. So. Um, another good piece, this is one thing I've been carrying around for quite a while now as well. It's a portable keyboard so I can ride a little bit if I'm getting bored. Um, works over Bluetooth. Um, other bits, my GPS, a Garmin E-Trex G no, e 20X this time, the new version. Charlie's bum butter. So 
this is always that always kicks in day two um, to make the long days in the saddle a little bit more comfortable and it is actually smelling really nice as well so if you put that in your saddle back you've got a nice nice smell in there sometimes that can be slightly different if you put some smelly socks in there so I really like this um, I use this one here um, it's an uh, external battery pack so that takes out <laughs> the, I have to charge my phone frequently because I do a lot of filming um, so this is this is the right thing to carry with me this is another absolute favorite of mine it's a Pixo charger this basically charges um, my A, A and AAA batteries. Um, the AAA is go in the spot tracker, the AA is go in the GPS, and it also charges the um, camera batteries. So you just have two adjustable pins here, and so you can basically charge every battery you wish to. This is fantastic, um, really, really like it. Um, and it's, it's super lightweight as well, so you don't have to carry loads of chargers with you. Um, another really famous item, Purple Extreme, um, it's a lubricant for the chain. Um, it is, in my eyes, the best thing to use for ultra distance riding because it lasts, normally lasts about two, 300 kilometers at least with an application. Um, it's really good stuff, you apply it, you wipe it off um, and it doesn't really collect any dirt on the chain. So um, I've been using that for going around the world and <coughs> yeah, absolutely love it. Um, some patches from Schwalbe, um, some some tire levers and a spare tube. Hopefully don't need them because I ride tubeless. Um, Light-wise, um, I carry three lights with me. Two on the bike, one is a backup. So on the bike, I've got an Exposure Max D8. This is superb. Um, this, a lot, I, I rode it on the setting yesterday where it lasts about 30 hours and it was light enough for night riding yesterday. It was fantastic, even on the road. Um, so this is this is a fantastic light. Um, I've been using the predecessor on my round the world trip. This is the new version and it's done a fantastic job ever since then. Um, this is a new edition, which I've been riding yesterday for the first time. It's the Exposure Blaze. This is my backlight. Again, um, it lasts about 36 hours um, on the lowest setting. Um, chargeable via USB here and the Backup light I carry with me, which I have a clamp on the helmet for, is the Exposure Diablo. Um, again, you can ride with that alone um, for about three hours at least. I use it as a backup just if something happens or if I need to fix a tire or something at night, I'll just simply clamp that on my helmet. Here. <coughs> there you go. And you can, you can do whatever you want to do. All of them, they charge from the same cable. So this is really handy. So this is this cable here and I don't have to carry a lot of cables so all three lights this one cable that's it um, in terms of charging using my iPhone charger the good thing about this one it comes with a European plug and if you go back to the UK you just plug on the UK version there you go so issue solved with that one um, the drone also comes with a charger that's the only disadvantage of carrying a drone you need to have proper proper charger with you this one good thing about it it also ha also has two additional usb blocks so you can just plug this one in charge your drone battery and at the same time charge all the usb devices as well so this is really handy um, just normally carry a, a simple power cable um, and an adapter for european plugs it's the joy of riding in different countries you always have to carry extra stuff with you and some little bits, um, a head torch, um, if I'm bivying out, um, I'll be using this one. Uh, it's a Petzl Tikka, it's done a fantastic job. Again, it's been around the world once. Um, another really interesting bit is the silicon tape here. This is the ESI silicon tape. So this is fantastic frame protection, um, especially if you go bike packing. The bags will rub on your bike um, and you just uh, you just wrap that around your frame. The good thing in the silicone tape, it, there's no residue left when you take it off. So it basically just wraps around your frame. I can really recommend this. Um, so I carry some spare with me in case I need it. Um, and some little bits, 45 North head. Um, again, Merino, this is, so I've got my Surly hat on for the moment. And this one is kicks in with the ear overlaps here if it gets even colder outside. And I always carry a buff, this time this one here, um, which doubles up as so many things at the same time. And that's about it. Some spare batteries here. Um, the other discovery I made for filming, bit of advice, G2 
cheapest chip selfie stick. Um, this is great as a tripod, just ram it in the ground somewhere or attach it to somewhere, extend it, and you've got a fantastic tripod for filming. So this is a bit of an insider. And bags I'm carrying, um, I'm using Epidura Tri-Line at the moment. Um, this is a 14 liter bag. This is my main, main um, storage for all the items I just showed you. And the spot tracker on top, and this is where the light attaches. So really, really good waterproof. Of um, nothing in so far and I'm using the front roll as well from the same line and the accessory pocket so this is my kit some inside and what I'm carrying and in order to record this I'm using a little little external microphone here as well um, this is just much better to get any audio from from this trip so yeah I'm looking forward to be using all of this stuff and um, keep riding my bike home for Christmas <laughs>